guys, if you want to see how to get this nice pink galaxy type, uh, half planet, universe, whatever, glossy pink lip, glossy eye <laughs> type look, um, then keep on watching. and pink but I wanted to do another one today so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start off with the eyes and we're gonna prime our eyes yeah first I use the Milani eyeshadow primer to prime my eyes then I use the product by star crush minerals called Aurora in number 209 for the base and then I use the Morphe 441 brush to blend it out. Using the 35B Color Burst Palette, I'm going to go in with the pink hue shades, not all of them, but most. And use the top one for the transition shade to blend out with the base. And instead of using Aurora, I went into the 35B palette and used the lightest pink shade to add back the color of the base because it gets lost within the transition shade. Going in with the Morphe M514 brush, I'm gonna take that bright pink color in my inner and outer corners. The hot pink shade that I blended in in my inner and outer corners, I put up more with the transition shade to add more pop and then I added more of the transition shade color and the base to give them back life. Just look at me, I'm glowing with pink. I'm a hue of a Barbie. I'm just that girl. And then I roll my neck because I'm an alien. Then I use Magic Collection shimmer eyeshadow pigments in innocent white to put in the middle of my lid using a wet and wild flathead brush And your best V is wiping that shimmer off because you do not want that in your foundation. Now I'm priming my eyes with your local beauty supply store primer. And this slick did mess my eyeshadow up. So it's not really a good primer, but I had to work with it because it was too late. Then I use Beauty Treats Glamour Glitter in the number 03 pink to put in the middle of my eyelids. And then you gotta make sure, make sure you wipe that glitter off because the glitter is so annoying. 
<laughs> looking good, looking good. <laughs> Ladies jealous. So I'm taking the Morphe 506 brush and making sure that the pink color is prominent in my inner and outer corners again because it kind of went away when I put that glitter on. I'm now using Photo Finish Smashbox Primer to prime and blur the pores of my face. Now using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the color Amber and the Pro Glow Infallible L'Oreal in 211 to put all over this face. Going in with the Real Techniques Stipling or Stippling Brush to blend out my foundation. I really, really like this brush. Like, this brush is a freaking one. Boing! Going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the color Light Medium to blend out the highlights of my face and have me protrude out more on these hoes. And I'm using a beauty blender to do so. While blending out my concealer, I still saw some of my skin peeking through, which sucks because it usually doesn't do that. Damn, I'm looking good and I didn't even finish yet. I have it in a Master Fix Maybelline container, but it's really Benai Banana Powder that I use to set my concealer on my face. Basically setting my powder in all the areas that I put concealer, y'all guys know the drill, blah 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 blah. Yikes, I'm pale as hell, so as you can see, it's not matching with my skin tone, so we're gonna fix that. Using a contoured angled brush from Wet n Wild, we're going to use this to carve out this face. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. I am then carving out my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose to make it look slimmer, under my lip to give it that pouty effect, and my jawline. Bless me. Woo. Going in with Positions Formula Booster Bronzer in medium to dark. Mm, it smells like crack. To give me a more bronzy, warm look. Using an edge, I'm going to carve out my cheekbones for a more sharp contour. Next thing we do is brows. I 
I used Kiss Professional Fine Precision Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. In the color Pure Beige by LA Girl Concealer to carve out my eyebrows. And make sure they're sharp so you can cut people who annoy you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, looking cuttable to me. And glossy and shimmery. Now going back in with that base shade because it got lost with the concealer that concealed it. Time to dust these babies off using a big blush brush. Wiping off all the other excess powder that I still have on my face from setting my concealer. Using Ruby Kisses Liquid Eyeliner in white, I did white circles on my face later on, but first I set my face with matte setting spray from the local beauty supply store. I set it into my makeup more using a beauty blender. And this is the part where I'm just drawing big circles, dots, semicircles around my eyes to give it that galaxy, bubble, whatever you want to call it look. <laughs> it's a look. It's Galaxy Girl, Galaxy Girl who has pink highlighter on her face that came out of nowhere because she edited it on the video. She didn't edit it in. Using the Morphe 169 brush, I'm going to go underneath my lids and add that vibrant pink shade. Going in with the Magic Collection White Innocent Shimmer, I'm putting that in the tear duct of my eye. Followed by the Star Crush Minerals um, Style and Aurora. P.S. I added lip gloss to my lids to give it more of a shiny effect. And then I went in with Voluminous Mascara of Maybelline first. And then I used Mascara... Um, trifecta Lash in Milani. I had to go back in with that vibrant pink shade under my eye because it got lost in the mascara. And then I went in with Auto Lip Liner in Deep Pink by the company NK. And put that in my waterline. I know, I know this looks painful, but it's not, but um, that's why I don't like showing when I uh, put lip liners or eyeliners in my waterline because it's just like, ouch, girl. Lining my lips with the same thing, the Deep Pink NK Lip Liner, then going in with 865 Fuchsia Flash. Um, this is so old now, I don't even know if they make this anymore, and I forgot what company it was by, but yeah. Then I go in with this lip gloss that doesn't even have a name, so uh, enjoy! I am now using GOV Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray to set my face and make sure it's matte throughout the day because I get really oily, guys. I'm an oily gal. And look at me checking myself out. That is the finished look, guys, and I hope you like it. Thanks for tuning in.